Welcome to Keller Williams Experience Podcast with your host, Francisco Rios. Our mission is to bring you value to your business by sharing the stories of our successful KW agents, leaders, and team members, because that is the Keller Williams way. My friends, welcome to the podcast. Today's guest is out of our Keller Williams Infinity office in Naperville, Illinois, and he's been selling real estate for a little bit over six years, runs a husband and wife team, and not just that, but he is also the technology team leader for the market center, which has over 400 agents at the moment. So this guy is working side by side with all of our agents every single day, helping them use the free Keller Williams technology that we have to leverage their business. And one of the most impressive things about him is that he is a systems guy. He knows his numbers, trackers, technology. I've never met anyone who's using it at such a high level. And today he's gonna to be telling us a little bit about a system that he developed for transaction management called Systemized Leverage. So my friends, without further ado, today we're gonna to bring in Noel Marrero. How you doing, my man? Doing good, doing good, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely, man. It, I feel like this interview is like long time due. Sure, sure. sure. We've, we've had a lot of discussions about all sorts of things with technology and systems and processes, and you're speaking my love language, man. <laughs> and I know it, dude, and, and you know, we're, we're in this, right, every single day. I started out in this market center, mm -hmm. And uh, I kind of saw how command was being rolled out. It, it's almost like, you know, the, the place was burning down, right? Because uh, we had a new CRM. And for anyone that, that isn't Keller Williams yet, uh, command, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reference that system a lot in this episode. Command is our, our client relationship management system that we used here at Keller Williams. And um, it was so impressive just to see you helping agents uh, become familiar with the system and start using it to leverage their business. I know you're with, uh, you're also part of the labs crew coach or uh, what, what's it called? Labs advisors. Your yeah. Labs advisors. So yeah. it's just been interesting to see it develop. Yeah, for uh, sure. So man, how long have you been selling real estate and what was the path that led you to Keller Williams? So um, I've been in the industry a little bit over six years. Um, I started in the business because I ended up getting laid off from my previous employer, which uh, I was miserable at that job, right, on the phones, uh, bill collecting, and uh, I wanted something different. So uh, a few friends of mine said, you'd be great at real estate, you know a lot of people, you're real personal, you're, you're, you have integrity, right, you have all these features that make a good agent. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said, well, maybe I'll get my license and uh, sell some homes on the side while I venture out into creating another business, right? Um, which I did, got my license, and I realized how many, how much opportunity was in the world of real estate, yeah. and I really doubled down. I stopped this other business that I was starting to create and just dove into real estate with full, with both feet, full time, and uh, figured out how to make it work. Yeah, that's fantastic, man. And and how about so Keller Williams? Was that just your your like first option? Did you know someone here, or how, how did you yeah? Get I out? actually knew somebody here. Um, I didn't know who Keller Williams was, but a buddy of mine had gotten licensed a few months before me, yeah. and um, you know I was going to all the big brands to interview, and he said you have to come check out Keller Williams, and I'm like Keller who, <laughs> yeah. right? I didn't know who Keller Williams was. Um, mainly because they don't pay for advertising, right? They let the agents brand themselves, so all the signs look different. You see all the other different logos for um, our agents and their businesses, mm -hmm. along with Keller Williams, which was at that time a lot smaller than our logos, right? Yeah. So once I started looking into it, I'm like, Keller Williams is a huge company, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and um, something just felt right. You know, like I interviewed at different companies, KW showed me their calendar of all the classes they had, and I said, this is what I need. I don't need to log into a portal and watch hundreds of videos to try to figure things out. I can do that on my own with YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. So I saw their calendar, and I said, this is a place that's offering opportunity to learn. Because as you know, once you go to get licensed and you take the schooling, they teach you how to pass the test, not to build a business or to sell real estate, yeah. right? So that's why I ended up cho choosing KW, and then... What came in second was the culture. I didn't know even really what that meant yeah. until I felt it, right? And and now a lot of the our colleagues that, that share their sh secrets and strategies and everyone's just here trying to help each other out, man. So um, it's awesome to see the abundance that everybody has and yeah. it's contagious and 
I now consider um, our colleagues here a second family. Right? It's my second family. For sure, man. I, I love that you mentioned the calendar too, because I, I feel like this Market Center's calendar, I mean, I mean, just in general, every calendar I've seen so far is just loaded with classes. No matter what part of your business you're working on at the moment, you're going to find a class where you can just pop in, sit down, and, and take away a lot of value. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And sometimes that could be the challenge in this business, right? Yeah. There's so many different ways to make it work. Um, you shouldn't come in and try to do everything because yeah. then you're going to probably fail. For right? Sure. But what is one or two things that align with your strengths that you can make work in here? Yeah. So I like it. There's a lot of different opportunities. And when I first came, um, I went to all the classes because I didn't know what I didn't even know. And I'm yeah. like, well, what does farming mean? And what does... PPC doing pay-per-click ads and your sphere of influence like what are all these different strategies to develop business I didn't know right so again that could be the challenge if you want to be a full-time student you could be a full-time student here and take classes all day but that's not what you should do go to the classes that are going to be impactful for you and then go out there and do the work to build up your business do it 100 percent I hear it all the time like new new agents to the company where they were at another company that maybe was you know talking up their training and, and this, this, and that. And at the end of the day, they ended up with a website where they could just click on a video, watch a class online. That that was their version of training. Right. Where here, it's more like drinking from a fire hose. Yeah. It feels like. For sure. Because yeah, there's so much. Yeah. 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 And it's real neat. Not neat, but um, it's very interesting, right? I was born here at KW, so I don't know any different. But when I get agents that have been in the business 15, 20 years and they come here, they're like, I feel like a brand new agent all over again because yeah. you guys have so many classes and there's concepts that I never even heard of at my office, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just interesting to me. Like, I don't know what the opposite of this is, right? Except for the stories that I hear, which helps validate that I'm home, right? And as long as I can keep growing here, there's no reason for me to go anywhere else, right? And, no, that's fantastic. Dude, so, so you've been selling real estate for a little bit over six years, right? right. Mm -hmm. How long have you been the technology team leader here at this market center? Technology team leader, um, I took this position in 2019, I believe. Right, so I'm in my third year now, going on my fourth year gotcha. um, in this role. So it's been exciting. Dude, so four years as a team leader. And at the same time, you're still managing to grow your business on the real estate sales side. Uh, so, so my question to you is this. I mean, I know you have 400 agents plus, like how, how many is the market center at? I think we're at 477. 477. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, you have you know your husband and wife team where you guys are, are serving your clients at a high level. Uh, you're a busy guy, man. How do you manage to do it all yeah. and, and, and still stay chill and cool? Because every time I see you, you seem to have it all down packed. Uh, how do you do it? Yeah, yeah well, I think uh, it takes a village, right? Yeah. It takes a village to raise kids, to build businesses. Uh, it doesn't have to, but that's what allows me to do what I'm able to do. So, like, on the team side, I give my wife a lot of the credit, right? She, she's out there, boots on the ground, running around with clients, following up, like, doing a lot of those things. And I support with a lot of systems and models, and, you know, we kind of tag team when we work with clients. Yeah. And then we have another agent, um, Armando Ruiz. He's on our team as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, and then we have a full-time um, admin. Yeah. So, w without the team structure, I wouldn't be able to do both things as I'm doing because real estate alone is hard to do all the things you have to do right generating leads following up transacting mm -hmm. the business marketing right like there's a lot to do in it where um, just one person trying to do all of that people get burned out and they realize that maybe it's more than what they thought it was going to be so I have that support there and uh, the office is very flexible right as long as I do my job here mm -hmm. and I produce results and I do things like that I have some flexibility with the office so if by chance Patricia was out doing a home inspection and mm -hmm. I had a client that wanted to go see a house, right? I could, I could fit that into my calendar where I can still go and accommodate my business, and um, and still have their support as well. Gotcha. That's good, man. So so yeah, it's nice that the office or company is flexible with the leadership position, but then again, also flexible with the real estate side, mm -hmm. because it's not the case everywhere you go. Right. You know, we're heavy on the team models and leverage. Yeah. So. And aside from that, I would say. Um, our technology, yeah. right? Like I look at that as a piece of leverage. Yeah. So you're building a business, right? It's when you hit that pain point of you're spending all your time working mm -hmm. and you don't have any time to do anything else, right? You need to 
uh, either get a, a person to help out or you need to get a system in place that's going to help provide leverage. Yeah. So a system is a very easy way for anybody to start building leverage mm -hmm. aside from going to hire an actual person that you have to pay on salary and, and, and have an extra expense. Yeah. So, so that actually brings up my next question. What is your favorite real estate technology platform out there? And I mean, it doesn't have sure. to be command. Sure. Uh, we can talk Centralock, Google. I mean, I know yeah. you use them all. So what is your favorite piece of technology for real estate? Yeah, so um, I use I use a couple of different programs, right? Now, I think, I think there's a difference when you say, you know, if you want to say what's the best software out there, well, it means something different, right? Mm -hmm. I think the best free thing out there is command, mm -hmm. right? To not have to pay $100, $500 a month, $1,000 a month that some of these CRMs are, are charging. Mm -hmm. Command is amazing for being free, yeah. right? To not have to pay anything and to use all the leverage that it brings with automation and stuff behind the scenes, managing your database as well. But aside from that, we use a lot of um, Google's products, mm -hmm. right? So I'm, I'm, an Apple guy, right? I, iPhone, Mac, everything that I use is an Apple product. Uh, but I utilize a lot of Google's products to uh, connect the dots of my business and to create some additional automation on the back end as well. So when it comes to Keller Williams technology, you've been at the forefront since they rolled out command, right? Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell us about Keller Williams technology? Yeah, so that's very interesting, actually. When, when I first interviewed with Keller Williams, mm -hmm. I had heard that Gary Keller invested a billion dollars of his own money into our technology. And I said, you're speaking my language, right? And I said, uh, that's very appealing to me because I see where the world is heading in uh, tech-wise, right? Mm -hmm. And this was in 2016. So I joined, and I didn't see anything really revolutionary with, our t with tech. Mm -hmm. And I saw a lot of outdated systems. Yeah. And what I quickly noticed is I was talking to all these top agents, and they were telling me all these different systems they were using to run their business. Yeah. And, you know, they were, they were using 7, 8, 12, 13 systems, and none of them talked to each other. So they had somebody inputting data here, inputting data here, right into all of these different things. Yeah. And in 2018, we rolled out with our, our system that's called Command, mm -hmm. right? And what I love about that, I, um, again, it's free. There's nothing mm -hmm. that the agents have to pay for it. But it's really our central hub. So they took all these different systems that agents were using, third-party systems, and they were paying for each different system mm -hmm. to generate leads, to follow up with leads, to manage the transactions, to do their marketing, to do their websites, right? They took all of these different programs, and they built it into one system, which yeah. is Command, right? So now with Command, we have one central hub. There's no more duplicate entry, right? I don't have to enter the contact's name in five different places, right? I have it in my CRM which is command, and then there's another section in CRM which does automation, right? There's another section that does the marketing, so I don't have to download and upload photos of the for my listing in the MLS. Yeah. It's already in the system. I just connect the listing, and I and the pictures populate, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, command is our system. Uh, it's growing every day. Uh, my role as a labs advisor with Keller Williams International is mm -hmm. I get to test out these new features that are coming out and gotcha. give them feedback as an agent. What does an agent really want in our technology? Yeah. Right? Because sometimes people build technology and they're like, well, here you go. And you're like, I wish it did this or it doesn't work the way I need it to work. And you can give feedback, but who listens to that? It falls on deaf ears. So I like the, um, the process with labs is they test it out with us and they're asking us feedback. So yeah. Um, I'm grateful feeling that I have a, a say so in the way our technology is involved, evolving, you know, for the agents. Dude, that's great, man. And, and I think the fact that it's built by agents, like technically, you know, built by agents because Gary was an agent, right? So it's built mm -hmm. by agents for agents. It just makes it that much more, I guess, efficient. Or just, I don't know if you fish is the word. I feel like it's just like a super pimped out <laughs> CRM at the end of the day. Sure. Yeah, it does a lot of things. And that's another challenge, right? Yeah. People come in and they get overwhelmed. They're like, wow, this is so much. And I'm like, well, you're not going to do everything at once, right? You have to start one thing at a time. So I can show you a built-out command system and it looks amazing. But you got to start it. When you get it, it's an empty shell. So well, you got to put your contacts in. You I want to backtrack. I want to challenge you on that, dude. Because have you ever sat across someone with an Infusionsoft presentation? No, not, not that I can say. That's confusing. Okay. That, that, I mean, you're really starting off like, you, 
I think command is super pimp in the sense that, and I know you're, <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't mean to cut you off, man, no, but I, I know you're, you're just been KW from the start. Sure. There's CRMs out there that are just super confusing. Yeah. And yes, you can build them out to be something great, but they just take a lot of work and effort yeah. where ours is pretty much plug and play. Uh, you know, new agent comes into Keller Williams, your tech team leader is going to help you get your contacts uploaded, right. and then you're just ready to rock and roll and start working the systems. Correct. Yeah. That's the foundation of building yeah. your business, right? Having a database. Yeah. And then once you have a database, you know, having a database, and then you got to communicate with your database yeah. to identify opportunities, and then you get an opportunity to do business, and then you transact the business afterwards. So what about the Command App? Do you Are you using Command App for your business? Um, well, I do use it. So yeah. the ca Command App is perfect on the go, right? Yeah. And that was a big pain point. That just came out this past year. Mm -hmm. But that was a big pain point prior to this is, you know, when you talk to somebody, how do you log those activities, right? And you have to rely on yourself getting to the office or at home, mm -hmm. pulling up your CRM, looking up all the people you talk to, adding all those notes. And most agents don't keep up with it because it's an extra layer of work that they have to do when they're probably ready to shut down. Yeah. But the command app, I can just pull someone up. I can call them from the app or text them from the app. It'll automatically log the activities. I can do a voice note to say, this is what me and Francisco talked about. And it captures it in there. So now when I look up our contact record, I don't have to think, what did me and when did we last talk and what did we talk about, right? If I knew you went on a vacation to Florida, I could say, how was, how was your vacation, right? The last time yeah, we talked, yeah. you were going on a trip, you know? How are the kids, right? So you can easily reference all of those notes and jump back into a conversation as we're building relationships. That's so good, man. I, I love to command that for that sense, right? Like, I'm a pacer. Mm -hmm. When I'm on the phone yeah, in the yeah. office, I'm a pacer. Like, I'm walking back and forth <laughs> and I'm on the phone. So I, I can log into my computer and just, you know, see, okay, I have to call Noel about, you know, he's ready to buy in a month. Let's get the process started. So I can, I could just call you, come back and log my notes. But the nice thing about command is that you can literally be anywhere. Right. You can be at the park, enjoying the sun, enjoying a beautiful day, open it up, see your task and say, okay, I have to call Noel, tap on it, make the phone call. Right. And... You know, there's always distractions. So by the time I hang up, I could easily get distracted into something else. But the minute I open my phone back up, there's a notification screen that says, uh, would you like to log an interaction? Right. And I could just speak to it. It's, it's super simple. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, if you have your smart plan set up where you have people yeah. on these reminders mm -hmm. and these tasks that are popping up, uh, rely on the system to say, here's the 10 people you need to call today. Mm -hmm. And then you just follow the plan. Yeah. Because if you leave it up to yourself, you're going to say, well, I, re I talked to that person last week, or they're probably busy, right? You start having call bias. The next thing you know, you're calling one, you're calling your parents or your, your wife or your husband or whoever, right? Like, Scrolling Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, you know, but if you follow who it's telling you to, to call mm -hmm. and you do that consistently, now you're really communicating with your, ba your database on a consistent basis. And that's what brings the results, right? Having yeah. those conversations. For sure. Do you use Twilio for texting on command? So we don't. Um, I, I use them for a little bit, but we took it off and we just have it as a task now. Gotcha. So if I need to text somebody as part of a process, um, it pops up as a task on there. Text Francisco and then it's here's what needs to be said. I can copy that, paste it in my text message. The interaction is logged already. Oh, that's a nice one to go by. So I like it coming from my personal number instead mm -hmm. of a third-party number. But yeah. again, if you're looking to grow a big business and you've got a lot of cold leads coming in, you can use Twilio to just automate a lot of that, and you don't even have to do any part of that manually. Yeah, the minute I heard about Twilio, I opened up the account too, and I'm just in too deep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Where like, you know, I have it as part of my contact information. If I meet a stranger and we exchange contact information, my Twilio number's already on there. Smart, yeah. And um, the nice thing about it is that, you know, like yesterday, right, was Sunday. Uh, I was out and about doing things, and... I already have birthday reminders for my friends and family. So automatically I can fire off that text message. I already sent out a postcard last week. Right. Um, I already checked them out on social media. Now Twilio sends out an automated text message that I programmed right. and I get the response back. So I look at my phone and I have a notification. Um, oh, so-and-so said, thank you so much for remembering my birthday. Yeah. And now I'm having a conversation on the go without even having to check into my, you know, log into my command, uh, having to check my email, 
or anything. It's just, yeah. I, I like the way they play together. For sure. Yeah. It's leverage, right, on the back end. Yeah. Because then you're not doing that. And that a birthday one's an easy one that maybe you don't need to leverage for, mm -hmm. right? Maybe you can do that manually yourself. But yeah. what if you're getting leads every single day? You're getting 10 new leads, right? And, mm -hmm. and you have a certain follow-up system. Mm -hmm. How do you know uh, a lead 10 days ago? what message you should be sending them versus someone that just joined yesterday in yeah. your funnel, right? And that's a lot to manage. Like, I don't even want to think about managing that. So if I have it automated, the system's doing the work for me, and I can be enjoying my time with my family, and then I can really engage with the people that are responding back. Because not everyone responds. So when someone responds yeah. and raises their hand, now I can really focus on that one person instead of 100 people that are, you know, getting reached out to automatically. Yeah, absolutely. It's super deep, man. I just... I really appreciate that because even like for like, let's say you have someone who is maybe saving enough money to buy a home, right? Mm -hmm. And based on your previous conversation, they need a six months. So now I know that they they need six months to do what they have to do, but I'm still following up consistently right. throughout those six months. And if I can do it via text message on Twilio, it's all embedded. Right. in my command feed. So I can look at my timeline and say, okay, well, we spoke three weeks ago and um, things are going good, just got a promotion at work uh, because all those conversations are locked right. in there. Right. I think the awesome thing too is when you talk about that type of automation, which mm -hmm. I really love, is that you know coming in, if you didn't have something previously, like you don't know, but you don't know. Right. Right. But with KW... We have a smart plans library where agents get to contribute and put their own follow-up plans on there. So instead of me recreating the wheel with following up with open house leads mm -hmm. or a Facebook lead or anything else that comes across there, I can look in the library and see what other agents are using and find a plan that I like and I can just make that my own plan. So I don't have to recreate the wheel and, and overthink it because I will yeah. overthink it, right? But if I see something that is uh, another agent that's having success with that smart plan, and a lot of people are downloading it, it's got high ratings, I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna incorporate it into my process as well. Yeah, dude, that's great. And, and yeah, you, you hit a point with that too, because let's say it's the middle of the night, you have a Facebook ad that's running, and somebody logs into your website and makes an account, you can fire off a message immediately. Right. Uh, thanking them for logging into your website, mm -hmm. and kind of asking some questions, so that when you wake up in, in the morning, you, you already started the conversation. For sure. And you're, you leverage that free technology to to get the conversation going. Right. Yeah. Dude, I can go on a, for, for hours. Uh, I can't stuff, too, man. trust me. <laughs> yeah, I, I might not be like heavy on the systems, yeah. but I just love command because I'm forgetful. I, I forget yeah. things. Right. So by using these tools every single day, I never skip a beat. Yeah. You know, I never forget to communicate with anyone. And if I do, then shame on me sure. because that means that I didn't take the time to set a reminder, to take a note. Right. Um, it basically takes the thinking out of yeah. doing. Yep. Yeah. And that's what I enjoy, right? Teaching our agents how can they utilize this to leverage your business, right? So I love meeting with our agents, consulting. I've worked with top producers and brand new agents, right? So yeah. it's figuring out their personality style what they need at this given time, and then us helping them build it one piece at a time. And then eventually, you look back a year later, you're like, wow, look how far we've came. Look at all these systems we've built, right? Yeah. And that's what allows you to grow and create more leverage. Dude, for sure, man. And, and I saw that, so I was sitting in on a presentation that you had the other day for our uh, technology committee, and you were showing your systemized leverage program mm -hmm. and how you've kind of taken two platforms that are that are technically free to Keller Williams agents, right? right. Uh, you're using Command, which is our CRM. And, and I, I know we're throwing around all these tech words. So, it, I mean, if you're a new agent or if you've been selling real estate since the Rolet, that was the hottest thing out. You know, a CRM is basically just uh, a platform that you put in all your contacts, you log in all your notes and it keeps you up to date, right? As long as you're working it every single day, you're never gonna miss a phone call. You're never gonna forget what you spoke about with your, your clients, your friends, your sphere of influence. You're never gonna miss a birthday because it just systemizes everything for you. So as long as you're checking in, you, you know, it tells you what to do because you programmed it for, for yourself and it's pretty simple. So I saw how you were using our CRM with Google Mm -hmm. which is another free, free platform 
to basically systemize the transaction management side of real estate. Right. Which is, I mean, I, I can't even wrap my head around it all. <laughs> I can work the systems, but it's just so impressive how how informational your program is, dude. So I just wanted to have you on here to yeah. share a little bit about that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm curious to know, too, you know, where did this program come from? Was it, sure. was it like growing pains? Was it being um, a team leader at the same time dealing with your transaction side growing? Like, what, what was it that inspired you to develop this program? Yeah, so the program really um, started off when we started growing as a team. Mm -hmm. And I had to hire an admin yeah. that was not in the real estate world, mm -hmm. right? And you quickly um, learn that there's so many variables and every transaction is completely different and there's yeah. all it's there's all these complexities involved mm -hmm. how do you train somebody to learn all these different variables and when to do this versus doing this mm -hmm. right so um, that was part of our growing pains that we had and I said I gotta create some sort of workflow that's gonna help someone understand okay when we get to this part of the transaction this is what I need to do this is the template for it and this is when it needs to be done so now instead of it always coming to me, they can look, they can reference the notes and they can see, oh, okay, I need to do this next and I need to do that next, right? So that way they can just um, um, really just work the transaction as it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And after I created that workflow for my admin to train on, my light, the light bulb went off and I said, man, you know what? I, I wish I had this when I was a brand new agent. Mm -hmm. Like if I, if I had this when I first started, I would have had better uh, experiences with my clients, right? That could have produced additional referrals coming in by the experience that I was giving to them. And then I thought, for anyone that's looking to grow a team and to train someone, right? I hear it all the time, right? I'm in leadership. So I meet with agents and they go through admin after admin and they, they hit this brick wall and they're like, man, this is a challenge. Mm -hmm. So I thought, hmm, this is another solution, right? This is how my admin learned. So what if I can present it and offer it to other agents that are looking to grow and they don't have to worry about figuring it all out. It's all there, they can add to it or remove from it, but now they have a system in place that they can utilize for leverage. That's fantastic, bro. And I just love how informational it is in the sense that I feel like realtors are fall into two different buckets, right? Either, I mean, of course you have someone who's working at a high level and they have their systems down, but for the most part, I feel like agents are either just updating their clients as they go, you know, kind of a phone call, hey, um, accepted your offer uh, let's schedule the inspection it's all verbal right, right. a lot of verbal heavy text right. but sometimes sometimes things get missed yeah right if, if you're playing it all verbal you can do it with one to five transactions but when you have seven pending and then you have clients you're working with it just becomes overwhelming and you know you wake up at 1 a.m you're like I forgot to update my client about this right right and then the other side you know, you have clients that are reaching out and saying, hey, what's going on with my transaction? I mm -hmm. haven't heard from you. Right. Um, and then deadlines get missed, miscommunications happen, right. and that can kill a deal. Yeah. So I just love how how the templates break everything down. Yeah. Uh, so, so like, what are the faces of the transaction that you cover with the system? So um, a prime, the bulk of it is when you're either with a listing, when you're an active listing and you have all your paperwork signed, right, there's a whole series of steps that goes on. Mm -hmm. When you're in the active stage and then when you go into the under contract stage and then closed, right, mm -hmm. there's a whole built out system. We do have additional things on like the cultivate if you're nurturing someone or scheduling the appointment, there's some action items on there. Mm -hmm. But a bulk of the activities that come out uh, with from our admin, they take charge once we get under contract or once we get paper signed, now they can take the ball and they can run the next play with it as well. Gotcha. So so for, for a Keller Williams agent, or let, let's say even if they're not KW, right, but they're working a CRM, um, how do they how do they implement these systems, right? So so I'm a KW agent, I'm transacting, maybe I don't have a transaction coordinator yet or mm -hmm. an admin. Uh, how do I implement these? How do I how do I use these tools? So that's a good point, and uh, it's funny because recently I had a, an agent from App Properties that said I heard about your um, systemized leverage program, and I want to know more information because I'm interested in getting it. I'm like, where'd you hear this from, right? Because yeah. she wasn't with KW, mm -hmm. and um, it can certainly be used 
right? Because it's off of a Google infrastructure. So you can mm -hmm. use it regardless of one co what company you're at with. You yeah. can still utilize this and tweak it to based on um, the workflows that you should have. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are the same, yeah. right? Like in a transaction, you've got cultivate. You're either nurturing some clients that might be ready later this year or next year, right? You're mm -hmm. nurturing them long term. Mm -hmm. You have the appointment stage, right? Which there's a series of things that happen when you're preparing for the appointment, after you go to the appointment. You have the active stage for an active client. You've got under contract and you got closed, right? So those never change. Those are always the same five buckets that we have, mm -hmm. the same five phases. But your stages down below, those you can mix and match to whatever you want, right? So we have um, quite a lot of them built out for different stages when they're in the private listing network and once we're, once we're launched. Once we schedule an open house, right, there's a whole checklist of things that need to be done as they enter and exit each stage. And I'm going to tell you guys this now, a shameless plug, this system is going to make you look like a pro because the information that you're passing along to your clients is second to none. I mean, you know, it's going to make your business look well ironed and not just that, but I'm, I'm, I know you're a systems guy and you like tracking. Have you figured out how much time you're saving? by uh, using these templates and the systems that you develop? Hmm. It's a really good question. Um, I don't think I've calculated the yeah. exact time, like how much time. I think that's hard to kind of quantify, especially now that I have an admin. I think it's saving my admin a lot of time right yeah, now because sure. he doesn't have to figure out how to put something together. Mm -hmm. He just cho he chooses the right template that matches the right situation, gotcha. copy and paste, change a few minor things, sends it out, right? So in minutes, he can have all of that sent out. You know, and if you're not, uh, a big part of it, I think, is trying to anticipate clients' needs. Mm -hmm. So if you're not coming and being proactive and, and trying to anticipate their needs and questions they might have and what's next in the process, not what's happening right now, um, you want to try to get ahead of that to answer those questions. That way it prevents a phone call at 7 p.m. at night like, hey, I have a question. Maybe you're having dinner with your family, right? So um, that's always our goal. If we can answer our clients' questions before they have to ask them, yeah. we feel like we're winning. For sure. So how can people get a hold of you? So people can get a hold of me um, either uh, through email. Uh, my email address uh, could just be noelmarrero at kw.com. Uh, my cell phone number is 773-294-8886. But you can find me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, I'm on all the social media channels. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So my friends, I hope you got some value from this. And if you're working your CRM at a high level, if your business is in a growing phase and you just feel overwhelmed by having to provide that uh, information to your clients as the transactions, you know, and going through different phases, I recommend you reach out to Noel, find out more about the program. You know, these are the systems that we offer to our clients that really, um, you know, they're not going to know you're using a system, but it's going to help you grow because their experience is going to be a hundred times better. And at the same time, you're saving time on your end and it just really makes you come across like a pro. So thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. If you got some value from today's episode, I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, uh, share this with your colleagues. And if you're interested to see how partnering up with Keller Williams can help you take your business to the next level, then I encourage you to go to www.thekellerwilliamsexperience.com and fill out the form so that we can get in contact with you and see what we can do to serve you. We have over 900 offices worldwide and we're here to help. So we'll see you on the next one.